What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of a page with the eyes. We're gonna leave a gap in the center. Let's start over on the left side. We're gonna draw a curve that goes up and then we'll bend that out towards the side. Let's line up the bottom on the right side and do the same thing, going up in the opposite direction and then bending that out. Now you want to round out the eye and pull that back up on the inside. Go all the way around, come down towards the bottom of the eye, and then bend that up. Let's go to the inside of the right eye and do the same thing. Coming down, go all the way around towards the top, and then pull that in. Now you want to push the pupils towards the inside of the eyes. Let's start from the top left, we're going to draw a circle, going around, come down, just tuck that in along the bottom. Let's line up the top over on the right and do the same thing. Going all the way around, come down, and then bend that in. Let's add a small highlight circle on the top of the pupils. So we'll start on the edge, come all the way around, and then back up. Let's switch to a thick black marker and fill the bottom of the pupils. Now I'm going to go around that highlight. Now in between the eyes, we're going to add a curve for the nose. Starting on the left, let's bend this down and then up. Let's move up and draw a short curve going up and down across the bridge of the nose. Let's move down and draw the bottom edge of the head. On the outside left eye, we step out, curve this down. I'm just going to bend this in just underneath the nose in the middle, go across and then up on the right. Let's add those little spikes along the side of the head. Starting on the left, then it's out, and then up. It's gonna round up the top, come in, and then down towards the side of the head. Let's add a short curve going up to the second set of spikes. And then from here, we can go out a little bit longer, go up towards the top. Round up the top, come in, and then down. Now let's add a fold on the top corner of the head. We're going to step down, put this up and in. Let's add those large horns along the top. From here, we're going to step up. It's going to bend this out, go up, and then in. Round out the top of the horn, come down, and then out. Now we're going to overlap the top of the head on top of these horns. So we're going to step out, curve this up in the middle, go across, and then back down. Now you want to add two smaller horns along the inside. Let's leave a gap in the center, start over on the left, then it's up and in on both sides. Round up the top, go out, and then down towards the top of the head. Let's add a row of bumps along the center of the head. Starting from the top, we draw a small half circle, going up and then down. Let's move down and draw another one, going up and down. And we draw two more coming down the center of the head. Now with the head complete, let's tuck the arms in underneath. We're gonna start over on the left side, curve the arm going out, down, and then in. Let's go over towards the right, going out, down, and then in. Let's round up the hands, coming all the way around. Now I just wanna bend that out. And then we'll add a fold along the top. Stepping back in, then it's up and out with a short line. Let's add the tips of the three fingers along the edge of the hand. Let's start from the inside, draw a small half circle. Step down, draw another one. Leave a 
gap and add one more. Now just underneath the hands, we're going to add a curve of the body. We're going to come down the middle, across, and then up. Let's tuck the legs in underneath. We're going to step back, and it's down, and then out towards the feet. Now let's layer the feet on top of the legs. From here, we're going to step up, come down, and out. Now we're going to draw an oval. Going all the way out toward the top of the foot, come in, and then down. Do the same thing on the right. Stepping up, come down towards the bottom of the foot, go up, around, and then down. And then from the inside of the foot, let's draw the leg going up and in behind the arms. Now I'm going to add three small toes along the outside. Let's start from the very top with that half circle. Leave a gap, draw another one, and we'll add one more. We're also going to add a fold along the bottom of the foot. Let's start from the top, then it's down, and then in. Now I'm going to give our characters some wings. So let's tuck this in behind the arms. Starting from the top, we're going to step down, and it's out and up with a short line. Round up the top, and then come down along the side. Let's trace the wings along the outside. So we're going to taper this so it gets wider as we come up and then in behind the head. From the tip of the wing, let's go up and then bend that down. Pull this up and in behind the arms. Now from this bottom point, we're gonna add a curve, going out and then up towards the top. Now let's bring the tail coming out from the right side. So we're going to start in between the arm and the leg. We're going to bend the tail going out, around the wing, go up, and then bend that back out. Let's taper this so it gets wider as we come back in behind the foot. Let's add those two fins on the end of the tail. Start from the tip, bend this out, and then up. Go back to the tip, go out, and then down. Now I'm going to add two curves along the top, going down and up, add another curve, do the same thing along the bottom, going down, and then add one more. Now I want to blend this back in toward the tail, coming in and then down. Let's add one seam in the center of the tail. Let's sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to draw more characters like this, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.